or mine, but I think it's a flathead maybe. Oh. Don't know if you can see him, it's a bit dark at the moment. But welcome to another episode of Crebay's Fishing Adventures. It's nice and early. There's a lot of service action here at the moment. I've hooked up, I think it might be a flathead because it's sort of... Uh, didn't come out and smash it like a brim. Sort of just sat on it. So I'm thinking it is a bloody. But I've been wrong before. I've said this before, now it's right under my boat. Come out this way, mate. Haven't even got me, haven't even got me net ready. Could be a brim, you know. Yeah, it is. Uh, actually, I think it's a Trevally. There's been a few uh, bust ups at the moment. I'm thinking it might be Trevally. Yeah, this is working around in circles, so I think it's a Trevally. Not a big one, I don't think. But, nice little heart starter for this morning, anyway. Carrying on a bit. Well, you've got some light gear on. Let's get me net. Oh man, I hope he doesn't get under me drive here. There's been a few of these around lately. Okay, well that's a nice little start I suppose. Maybe that's what's uh, cutting the water up here at the moment. So we paddle out and there was a lot of service stuff going on. So I'd say it's these, these fellas. There it is. Trevally absolutely engulfed that lure. I can't even see it. There's some surface thing, surface um, action at the moment. Hopefully I can get this lure out. Bloody hell, I don't know if I can, eh? It's down deep. And that brim prawn. Yeah, well that's a 40, I don't know, 42. 42 centimetre grunter. You'll be right. There he goes. The way I use these brim prawns, because I've had a few people ask me how the how I what's my action I use on the um, soft plastics. On the brim prawn, I use a um, just a hidden weight hook because I like that slow sink and go as light as you can to suit the conditions. Obviously, if it's windy, you might have to get a a heavier hook or a heavier um, hidden weight hook and if the currents are obviously rushing pretty quick I mean today is perfect there's no wind there's no current so I can go as light as I can we've got the um, olive color today but you're right in front of me here I can see a lot of movement on the top water here so there's a bit of action happening just around here so I'll just throw it out. I'll let that sink. And sometimes on that sink you'll even get a hit. And you watch your line. Your line my line's sitting on top of that water there. And if I see it go tight, then I know I've, I've got a bite or I've got a fish on. And I just wind the slack up. And I sometimes I just slow roll it. And then I just pause and let it sink down. Slow roll it. Let it sink down. There's a few actions I do do with the brim prawn, but I generally fish it slow. Um, the only time I fish it a little bit quicker is when 
um, I'm fishing right in the like really shallow and I'll just slowly roll it so if I throw that out into the shallows and I just slowly roll it look I just got a hit then and I'm just slow here we go I got another hit something's on it so I'm just slow rolling it oh I might do a pause because there was one on it and I'll just slow roll it again. So I tend to do that slow roll more in the shallow depths and there's say there's weed so I don't get, catch the weed I'm sort of just um, slow rolling over just over the top of the weed. So I'll try that again because I've got a couple of hits in there. Mightn't, might, mightn't be that big. So slow roll it. Slow the better, to be honest. Just so you can get it that bait down into the column. Into that strike zone. Another action I like doing with the brim prawn is I'll throw it out as far as I can. Let that naturally sink. Wind in the slack. And I'll just give it a couple of just a couple of tweaks and then pause. Then I wind in the slack, a couple of tweaks, pause. Wind up the slack, a couple of tweaks, pause. Wind in the slack. Oh, there was something on it then. Nothing big though. Nothing big. So when I know I'm getting sort of like weed in weedy areas, I tend to move that lure a little bit quicker just so it's hovering over the weed. So I'll slow roll it. And if there's something hiding in that weed, it will dart out and grab it. Got another. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Strip me bait. Look at that. I don't know what that was. Might have been a, a brim or maybe another trevally. I don't know. But it actually just stripped. Stripped me brim prawn straight off. So now it's really shallow in there. I'm just working this. This goes all the way out for a while. I'm just working that edge. And sometimes when your bait gets um, messed up like this, sometimes I pull it out and I just turn it around and rehook it the other way. So you get a couple of goes at this bait. But as you can see on the um, sound of there there's a lot of weed down the bottom so I'm just working above that weed okay got one I don't think it's real big though All right I've just lost him I think oh no must have pulled me through some weed it's only small though might even just lift this one in here we go so yeah I think I was getting those small little hits all the way along there so we need need some of the bigger ones to show up you had a couple of goes of that Any small? So yeah, that lure's still okay. But I think the key with the brim prawn is to 
go light as you can on your um, on the weight of your hook. You don't need to put a big heavy weight on it. Like I said, the lighter the better. Just that natural drop is the key, I think. But I do love the brim prawn. It's one of my favourite plastics.